Good day, fellow investors. I really hope you have a great day. And something that makes every day of mine great are your comments. I really love, I really love interacting with you. And if I can help a little bit, it makes me happy. There is nothing better than giving. So let's go through some comments. Today's topic are a channel summary from a comment, dollar cost averaging, long-term investing, should we sell China? And in some comments, some people have touched on, I think, what might be the best investment I have ever seen. Let's start with the channel summary. Manos explained very well what is this channel about. Stock valuations are high. Studying what happened in the past is the key to understand how to position ourselves in the future. We had 19 recessions with market declines from 15 till 85%. So that's a reality that will happen again. Cash investments when valuations are high should be taken seri seriously. So in a volatile environment, it might be interesting to hedge ourselves with gold. Real estate returns are a great alternative as brick and mortar is a relatively low to medium risk investment with returns of 4 to 6% depending on which part of the world one live. And I agree on the real estate part as I'm heavily skewed to real estate at this point in time. But on the real estate flipping is risky, investing for passive income has moderate risk and long-term benefit, so I prefer the latter. Especially, I will add, if you have a good financing structure. Will there be another recession? Yes. Do we know when? Of course not. Excellent summary from Manus. Then let's go on the long term. Let's see what happens here. I made some videos about risks here. Gainde said, you should only be scared if you want to sell your stocks within the next 10 years. Well, we have seen that 10 years is not enough in yesterday's video. So I say 10 years might be short. In the assumption, you use dollar cost averaging. So in the assumption, you use dollar cost averaging, you are expecting then to buy more businesses. And that's always the key. If you buy businesses, if you're happy when stock prices decline, then you are a great investor. You buy in businesses and you're buying the return on the businesses. Whatever happens, dollar cost averaging is probably the smartest way to go about investing. However, not everybody has the same investment horizon. Not everybody can see his portfolio drop 40% and then be happy about it. We are humans, we have emotions, and we react in a certain way. So let's see what is another comment. Dalcio Dacol said that my videos are very informative, but for only for investors. However, not everybody looks in a Buffett way. As Keynes said, in the long term, we are all dead. So somebody prefers short-term trading as opposed to investing. And he, as he says, he's no longer a young man, even if he looks very young to me. So my answer on we are all that, maybe, of course, it's a joke, but you never know. Second point, the market can stay rational, again from Keynes, longer than you can stay solvent. Great points, protection her first. And I would add here, it's all about risk reward, even if trading, even if in long-term investing, if you can find trades with positive returns and low risk, so asymmetric positive risk reward, which is the key in investing. You can be a short-term trader, you can be a long-term investor, whatever. The key is in the risk reward. So kudos to Dalcio for his comment. Speaking of risks, I made a video about fraud, China, Alibaba, what's going on. I'll make a video about the China hustle, a great movie that I recommend. But this doesn't mean that you shouldn't invest in China. It's just showing how much exposure you should have to the stories in relation to the valuations, returns, reward. Again, risk, reward. So Liana Lowry said she didn't know this and she wants to get rid of the Chinese stocks in the near future. So I said, it isn't about selling immediately. It's always comparing the risk reward and seeing whether you're happy owning what you own. He is that I didn't sell my Chinese stock. I'm just exposing myself to what can happen. And that China says, okay, those contracts are illegal. That's a really, really small, 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 small probability because then probably the economic world as we know would completely collapse. So small probability for that to happen, but it is a probability. My bigger concern are corporate governance and that the management in China is not controlled by the investors because they can do whatever they want and they can force Alibaba to give them loans or spin out companies to their own names and they own so much. So that's a different risk, 
not China as the government cutting out foreign investors. That's much less of a risk. And now, the best investment I have ever seen. Brian Carrick wrote, thanks for the video, intriguing video, but he wanted to show the opportunity to share his experience as he has already $1 million. Oh my God, so how, what can I do to get to $1 million? And he's still earning money. Oh, I don't know what to do, I'm so excited. So how did he do it? He attained his heights with Mrs. Rachel because she is the expert superior expertise and guaranteed trading for commission. So it's about to get our losses back and we have to contact Rachel Brooke. So I really saw this message and I spoke to my wife and she said that we should sell our house, sell, sell everything that we have, sell even the jewelry, the crib of the baby and put all our money with Rachel. Of course, if you see such a message, what can you do? But then, then I don't know what to do. And here I need your help. What do you think? Because first it is Mrs. Ra Rachel, but then, then Kirk Morgan, just three hours later said, it's all about Mr. Michael. And then I didn't know anything what to do. Again, he didn't get scammed. Perhaps Mrs. Rachel is a scam. Mr. Michael is the real deal. I don't know people anymore. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Please help me with Mrs. Rachel and Mr. Michael. We are crazy, me and my wife now, and I cannot make rational decisions in such an investment world.